This is my remodeling kitchen mosaic backsplash that I just completed as you can see and in this video I would like to show you what tiles and tools I use in order to complete this project. This video will be followed by a set of videos that each one of them will show you different part of this project. At the end of this video you will notice I icon on the top right corner of this video. Click on this icon to go to the next video on this series. I'm going to use this kind of tiles okay, and I put them around where I'm going to put them here. So this area is actually 17 inch by 88 inch. So this time, really what's going to happen is they're going to be set on the wall, which this is going to be the button of the tile. It's going to be put like that. And the wall is actually 17 inch. If you look at here, it's 17 inch. So if I attach this to this, and the distance between of them is 116, that's the spacer between this um, mosaic tile. So you can see here that it's going to reach to this place. And that's almost the center of the other tile. So I'm, I'm feel quite comfortable that um, I can deal with that if I need to cut a little bit from this kind of a this is a white tile, probably a three quarter of an inch or one inch. I can easily cut it if I need to. And I can use the rest of the tile because this tile is symmetric. If you look at one tile here, let me show you. You can see that this tile, this pattern, is repeating itself every eight tiles. It's actually 16 tiles here. It's still mosaic, I would say, small tiles, small piece of tiles. And uh, you can actually see that it's, it's nothing but symmetric pattern from here to here. I'm going to maintain a one eighth of an inch space between the granite counter to the wall. That's to avoid any movement and uh, ability to actually seal it with silicone that avoid water going under the mosaic tile. Okay, for this project I'm going to use uh, this trowel 316 to 532 v -notch. I may going to use this quarter of an inch trowel if needed, if I need to actually correct some level issues, but it's only if I need. I'm going to use this uh, utility knife to cut uh, pieces from the mosaic tile. Uh, this kind of vintage that you, I purchased and uh, it might be uh, access to places you cannot access with the other mode, the trowel. Uh, this is uh, a float rubber for grout uh, just to press the tiles. That's what the manufacturer recommended. This kind of... Uh, actually one eight, but I actually have to purchase one sixteen. Sorry, this is not uh, the right one because the space, the space between the mosaic should be 116 and uh, this kind of uh, very nice and interesting uh, spacer I'm going to use also I'm also going to use uh, this kind of wood if you look at it ok you can see it's level so I can actually uh, press the tile and level the tile if needed I'm going to use this uh, level when needed also, and this level when needed. And that's all the tools probably that I need to use. I also may going to use a grinder to cut when needed. I have a wet saw downstairs that I will use. And I might going to use other uh, tools to cut if needed. But this is an interesting tool to 
that you can cut uh, many things with.